Freedom denied. Today, a Maryland parole board refused to offer early parole to former Bishop Heather Cook. Once a high-ranking leader in Maryland's Episcopal Church, the board says Cook did not apologize for drunk driving and killing Thomas Palermo, and she showed no remorse for his horrific death. WJZ investigator Mike Kelvin is live at the Women's Correctional Facility in Howard County and has more on the parole board's decision and the emotional reaction to it. Mike. Vic, Heather Cook was the number two leader in the church at the time, yet she left her victim for dead. She never called 911 to help him. At length today, she tried to convince parole board members that she deserved to go free early, but she didn't say the two words they wanted to hear. I'm sorry. Tom Palermo's widow, Rachel, sat just feet from former Episcopal Bishop Heather Cook as the one-time high-ranking church leader pleaded for her freedom. But parole board members quickly and unanimously denied Cook's release. And moments later, Rachel delivered this emotional message. I want you to think of a six and an eight-year-old who wish their dad was still here. I want you to think of me and my pain. I want you to think of Tom's parents and their loss. And I want you to think of your own loved ones. It's been more than two years since her husband, a father of two, was riding in a marked bike lane on Roland Avenue when then Bishop Cook, drunk almost three times the legal limit and texting, slammed into him and fled the scene with his helmet lodged in her windshield. The chair of the parole commission said Cook showed no signs she learned her lesson. She called it a brutal irony and she did not apologize to the victim at any time. This was not Cook's first offense. WJZ was first to report about her arrest on the Eastern Shore in 2010. Court records show Cook was drunk more than three times the legal limit, had smoked marijuana, and was driving on a shredded tire. They felt that she was definitely um, not worthy of a discretionary early release. Even without early parole, with good behavior, Cook will serve only a little more than half of her seven-year sentence, one the victim's family felt was too short from the start. Today is really about Tom. It is also about those who continue to love him and feel his loss. If you plan to go out and drink, please set up a ride before you go. She also asked people not text and drive. Bishop Cook could now be out as early as 2019. Reporting live at the Women's Correctional Institute in Jessup, Mike Halgren, WJZ Eyewitness News. Mike, thank you. Church leadership knew about Cook's 2010 drunk driving arrest, but gave her a chance at redemption.